Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says a semicircle sits in a right angle triangle and wants to know what is the shaded area. We're also given that the diameter of the semicircle is eight. This is day 26 of our advent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna solve 31 Katrina ad puzzles in 31 days. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. We have two tangent lines here. Let's extend this tangent line to here and let's extend this tangent line to here. These meet at a right angle, and that's because we were told it was a right angle triangle. And then next, let's draw this radius. And since the diameter is eight, we know this radius is four. And this radius will meet this tangent line at a right angle. That's because a radius always meets the tangent line at a right angle. Here's some notes right here. And then next, let's draw this radius. It will also have a length of four, and it will also meet this tangent line at a right angle. Now, if we focus on this quadrilateral right here, the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So if these three are right angles, that means this one has to be a right angle. And now we know this shape is a rectangle. In every rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. So if this side is four, this side over here is also four. And if this side is four, then this side is also four. Now, since all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal, we know this is a square. And I think we're pretty much done. This triangle is the area we're trying to get. Let's copy the whole thing down and isolate this triangle. We can rotate it like this and we can find the area using the area formula, one half base times height. The base is equal to four and the height is equal to four. Four times four is 16 and half of 16 is eight. Let's give it a label of units squared and that is the answer to our question. The area of this triangle is eight units squared. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. This one had a really clean solution, didn't it? Here's the next problem. We're given two overlapping squares and it wants to know what is this shaded area. And we're also given this distance is five. This looks like it could be a fun one. How exciting.